What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Matrix Unveiled. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a very interesting topic, a very interesting stream of information that kind of just came through um, as I was watching certain other YouTubers, other, other you know, sources of information, which is something that I, I do quite regularly because it helps keep the mind kind of flexible. It helps to keep the mind, you know, highly tuned into the different energies and you know, when you learn from these different teachers, from these different way showers, guides, mystics, fellow mystics along the path, right? I consider myself to be a mystic or a shaman or, you know, a wizard or whatever, or a sorcerer or a magi. And as well as you, you are probably one of these beings as well. So when you take information in from all these different sources, as well as yourself, you really become a powerhouse of metaphysics. You really become a truly gifted individual spiritually and energetically. And so the message that's coming through today is that we have to become hyper aware of the energies that lurk in the background. Okay? We have to become hyper aware of the different frequencies, entities, beings, intelligences, energies, whatever you want to call them, that are in the astral plane, that are navigating subtly throughout the, the fields that are creating your reality for you. Meaning, if you are addicted to something, if you have an addiction, an addiction to, to, to coffee, an addiction to alcohol, you know, coffee is not too bad, but alcohol, something like that. This is an astral entity that is taken over your consciousness and has now enslaved you and is now harvesting and pulling energy out of you, okay, same thing with nicotine, same thing with uh, pretty much anything, you know, so this concept can be expanded upon, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand upon it a little bit, I want you to understand that individuals, people, humans that are not integrated, that are not whole, that are not connected to themselves, that are not, that have not taken their fractals, because what you are is you are a light fractal. You're a crystalline being, okay? So your Taurus is like a crystal. And so imagine your crystal has all of these cracks in the crystal. It has all of these places where the light is spilling out. And where the light is spilling out, the energy is leaking. And where the energy is leaking, other energy seeks to find that space and to come into that space and to fill itself up there. So it's almost like it takes over and it becomes its own consciousness. And now you have multiple consciousnesses or multiple entities or energies that are running throughout your consciousness where you're supposed to be. There's astral entities there. There's astral concepts there. I had a, it's interesting. I had a dream not too, uh, not too long ago. I think a day or two ago where I was actually working with somebody in the dream realm and I was, I was, you know, I was doing a session with them basically. And Throughout our session, I was sitting with him, I was guiding him through the energies, and it was something that was in his stomach. And he had literally, he was coughing up, and he was throwing up these, like, astral slugs. Like these, these insects, like these large insects, probably like the size of my hand right here, okay? That he was throwing up, and I was seeing it come out, like these, these disgusting insects. And I don't want to judge it, but it looked pretty gross, okay? Um, and so, that was inside of him. That energy was inside of him. It was feeding off of his energy. It was like a little parasite. So these kinds of things, you know, we can't see because, or many of us cannot see, because our, our pineal glands are not tuned in, because our third eyes are not sharp, because our astral eyesight is not aware. So we don't see this information that's going on here. We don't see these dimensions of these different energies that are attached to our fields and these these critters or these creatures or these energies or these intelligences. And let me, let me make this clear. Like you could have a, a small little infection, like a little slug or something, or you could have a massive cloud of darkness around you, depending on how much your infiltration is, depending on how little your awareness is, because the more awareness you have, the more tuned in you are to spirit, right? The better you'll be able to see into your own energy field and see these things. If you're not tuned into spirit, if you're not doing the work, 
If you're not sitting with yourself, if you're not connecting to nature, if you're not connecting to the universal consciousness on a daily basis and you're not exercising your pineal glands and you're not exercising your your uh, your morphogenetic field or your, your torus field, then you're going to find yourself victim to these energies more and more and more so. And then, of course, your life will become victim to these energies. You'll find more and more depression, more and more unhappiness, more and more lack of fulfillment or lack of purpose. So... Um, I noticed a lot of people, you know, starting to fall into this depression energy. I noticed this in my family with some individuals and, you know, and I can see it, the root cause is because of a lack of spirituality, a lack of gnosis of self. Because when you are tuned to self, you have a super tuned, you have a super tuned amount of energy and you're extremely passionate about life. You're extremely passionate about your existence and what you seek to do with your reality. So for myself, you know, I see all of these things. I see the metaphysics behind reality. I see how all of these energies have enslaved humanity or humanity has enslaved itself essentially. And I see how these energies run in the background. And because people are not aware of the astral, because they're not tuned into the astral, because they're not taking the time to heal their astral selves, heal their energetic selves, they never get beyond these stages. They get stuck by these energies. They get hijacked. They get taken over. And so you got to look at yourself and be like, hey, am I, am I hijacked? Am I really running my optimal purpose here? Am I running on full capacity? Or am I fractalized? Am I a shattered crystal? Or am I a sparkly diamond? You know, to make it sound kind of poetic. And as I looked at myself, I saw, well, you know, I've been on this path for a long time, a long time, you know, 10, 10 years at least. And of course, there are still elements of myself that I'm still healing. But because I'm diligent with my work and I consistently work on myself and I'm consistently upgrading and cleansing my frequency, you become a lot more resilient to these energies. Things don't come into your field as easily. But many people, they don't do that spiritual work. They don't take it seriously. They got excuses they got jobs they got you know uh family that they put first they, they they put all these things first in their life and they've given their power over to those things they've given their power over to their family or to their job or to whatever else it is and those things have enslaved them now energetically those things are ruling their their consciousness not their own spiritual sovereignty not their own desire to awaken and master their consciousness and to clear themselves out of these programs. So, humans are so programmed, okay? Humans are so incredibly programmed out here, it's it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. And, and as a being that is really seeking to deprogram himself or herself, you should become aware of this. Truly become aware of all the programs that people place on you. All the ideas and thought forms that they try to interject into your consciousness. And, and to see like, hey, when this is happening, I must become hyper aware of this. As the light, you must shine your light and shine your love. And then when you sense the darkness trying to invade on yourself, you must hold that boundary firm. Okay, you're here to teach the darkness about love. You're here to teach the darkness about awakening and 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 uh, and basically show it that it's not able to affect you. Okay, so in the past I was definitely not um, good with this. This was something that I had to learn very painfully many times. And after I learned that lesson, I was like, wow, I really understand what's going on here. And this is becoming, you know, be, this is becoming aware and. And uh, basically super tuned to this energetic awareness is what I would call it. So becoming energetically aware of these astral entities and of these astral energies will help you navigate your life so much so. And once you do become the master, and I've used this word a lot, becoming the master. It's something that's really resonated with me, probably because I've reached that state. And let me explain what the master means. The master is not someone that has, you know, that stops learning. The master is someone that has reached a certain stage of their initiation of their 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 uh, their path, where they're now bestowing knowledge upon others. 
because they've learned enough from their own past and their own past lives and their own, you know, concurrent timelines that they have, they have gathered enough soul mass. They've integrated themselves enough to the point where they can share that knowledge, but they are of course still a student. They're still a student of the universe. So they're still learning powerfully. They're still reshaping their consciousness and remolding it every single day. They never stop to do this. They never seek to stop their learning process, but they do become the master in the sense the universe is, has gifted them with all of this abundance and this receptivity because they understand, the universal intelligence understand, this is a pure being. This is a being that's on his path that will not be impeded by darkness. He will not stop or she will not stop. It will reach the final stages of enlightenment. It will exit the matrix. It will break itself from reincarnation. This one will not be tempered with. No matter what you throw it at it, it will conquer it. Because it has that, it's been touched by the light. It's been touched by the light. And the light, once it penetrates deeply enough, which is your essence, you are the light, okay? Once you, you are touched by the light deeply enough, you seek not to return to the darkness. You seek not to return to unconsciousness. And when I say darkness, I mean really unconsciousness. And when I say light, I really mean awaken or awakening. So these humans that are programmed, they will seek to find you out. They will seek to impede upon your energy. They will seek to distract you from your path. Waste your time. Waste your energy. Steal your energy. Attack you. Whatever it is. You have to be really careful. As the master, you start to really step back into your own energy field. You stop putting your energy out so much. You know, when I put out my energy, it's in a very focused, laser-like manner. So it's either in a video, in my creation, in my frequency, in the Matrix Unveiled, or it's in a client call where I'm literally guiding someone. And other than that, I keep my energy to myself. And just a couple friends. But let me get to that. See, even with friends, even with other individuals that you may socially interact with, you have to be very careful. Especially on social media. You have to be very careful because you don't realize what energies are playing around in the background. You don't realize what energies are playing around in the background. You don't realize that you know, this person that may be your friend, they may be a good person, or this family member that may be a good person, you may love them, they may love you, you know, they may have your best intentions. They are actually controlled. They're actually infiltrated by certain energies. They're actually being affected by certain ideas that are not true, that are not resonant. And that's something that you have to really acknowledge. You have to look at your friends. You have to look at the people in your circle and be like, is this person pure? Do I want them in my circle? Do I want their energy around me? Really study, really see, really look and see like, does this person's energy make me feel good? Can I see their energy field? I can see people's energy field. So I can see if they have attachments. I can see if they have entities that are in their field that are swimming around, feeding off of them, all kinds of stuff. You wouldn't believe the kind of stuff that goes on in the astral realm. You wouldn't believe it unless you could see it. You know, if you can see it, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I the, the stuff that goes on in the astral realm, it's gnarly, man. It's gnarly in the sense that it can be repulsive. It can be beautiful when you get to the higher planes of existence and you're talking about all of this higher consciousness aspects, but the stuff that goes on in, in uh, uh, a lot of humans' fields... It's some really nasty stuff. You got chains, you got, you know, I don't even want to go into detail. <laughs> I don't want to give people ideas. Um, but, but when you see this stuff, you know, hey, I'm going to keep my distance from 99% of people. 99.999. And even on, on the internet, you know, you, you would want to keep your distance because you understand how this energy transfers. Just by being in contact with someone, just by conversing with someone. And so you got to set boundaries with the entire world, essentially, where you are like, hey, I'm over here. I got this light. It's shining. It's glowing. It's clean. It's crystalline. I've cleansed it out. I've worked on it every single day. I'm not giving it away. I'm not letting somebody else come in and try to steal it, try to vamp it or 
to try to infect it with, with their astral energies, essentially. Right? So, so, so much has to become, you know, brought into awareness, essentially. So much has to become conscious of. And you have to become conscious of all of these energies. And that's, that's the job of the mystic. That's the job of the shaman or the wizard or the, the you know, the warrior of light or the alchemist or any of these words that I've used. Um, and, and that is what you must master. And that's what I seek to master every single day. And that is how you truly create your reality because only when you're unimpeded, unimpeded within your energetic flow, can you really get into this frequency and let me let me explain something as you as you raise on your level okay as you keep going up and up and up and up and up i'll use myself as an example you know as i started sharing my truth my frequency started elevating a lot and it started broadcasting signals into the grids and that attracted a lot of people towards me so you become pinged on the system. You're now you're now aware, like the system has you and it knows that you're there. Does that make sense? So the matrix is now conscious of you. The other astral ent entities are now conscious that you are actively reprogramming it, that you're actively sending your frequency out and you're changing stuff. So it's going to send even more people on you. It's going to send, you know, even in my local reality, when I go out, people recognize me or people will say, what's up? And they'll be like, hey, I watch your videos. So that's showing like, hey, your signature, it gets out. It gets the word gets out. And that's that's the goal. You want the word to get out. However, you also want to stay anonymous. You also want to stay um, a little bit secretive. I have a certain place that I train energetically all of the time. All of the time that I go pretty much every single day or every other day. And now when I go there, I know people are watching because people have brought it up to me like, hey, I see you at the, at the certain spot every single time. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to bring any more attention to it. But I've I've put my my signature into those grids so much to where the knowledge is known that that spot is heated up. And when I bring other people that are slightly tuned to the energies, they can feel it. I've brought several people there and they're like, dang, that place is, it's yours. You've claimed it, but like, it's also a hotspot. It's on the grid. So now a lot of people know that energy is going out from that space. So you become, you become a target almost, you know, and, uh, your, your light is, is there for everyone to see. You're, there's no more hiding, which is the point. You don't want to be hiding, but you also want to be hyper vigilant and hyper careful or hyper aware of the energies that you allow into your sphere. And that is how you really become a master. Because if you're trying to transmute this darkness and uh, and really heal this darkness within you and, and bring back your fractals, you can't do it with all this other nonsense outside of you, you know, causing disruption. So, so that's the message for today. It came in powerfully. Um, really be aware of what's going on in the astral realm. A lot of people have no idea what's going on. And the astral realm is pretty much, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, there's, of course, other realms. In the astral realm, I just consider to be the energies, the local energies in the area, you know, within these local d densities in these local dimensions. You can go all the way past that. Um, way, way past that. But that's when you get more advanced. And, you know, when I do hang out with certain individuals, like I hung out with my friend last night, we go, when we're in the astral, we go all the way to the top. Like we're, like I have a whole room <laughs> that I've set up for myself where it's like, this is my space of the astral. It's, it's such a high frequency that no one else is coming in to this space besides me and anyone else that I bring there. But that's through masterhood. That's through accomplishing certain frequencies and, and really sitting and really learning how to wield the astral energies. And until you can do that, you will, you're kind of going to be at the mercy of the astral environment. You're not going to be the conductor of the frequencies. Something else will be. So you got to be in charge of your environment when you go around. You got to be in charge of what you're navigating through and what kind of energies you allow into your space. Okay. 
So that's the message for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the message. Um, I hope it was useful for you. If you would like to support the channel through a donation, you can do so on PayPal, on Cash App, or on Patreon. And I really, really do appreciate you guys' support. It helps me uh, stay motivated to keep making free videos and, you know, sharing this content and sharing this this divine insight that I receive on a daily basis. So, yeah, I really, really do appreciate that. Other than that, go ahead and check out thematrixunveiled.com for, for courses on deepening your knowledge and for my one-on-one -on -one training, my one-on-one -on -one sessions at thematrixunveiled.com. Much love, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.